How yes. does a battery work? Okay, so a battery basically provides a electromotive force. Okay, converting chemical energy into electrical energy. They've got two electrodes. Okay, one part which is called the anode, and that's the part that releases electrons. Those electrons then go through the circuit to the cathode, which is the other part of the battery. That's why, you know, when, when you have the Duracell, right? You've yeah. got one part that's positive and one part that ne that's negative. You connect that to wires, you light up the light bulb. What's happening is there's some chemical reaction that's going on inside of that battery that is pushing electrons one way and sucking electrons the other way. And they have no choice but to go through whatever load you're trying to put on it. Now... The main question is, why doesn't the electron just go through the battery? Mm -hmm. Why does it have to go through all the way around the circuit? Why can't it just go through the battery to the, to the cathode, right? From the anode to the cathode. Mm -hmm. There's something inside the battery that is preventing electrons from going through. It only lets positive ions go through, okay? So this happens during discharging, okay? The battery's providing power, okay? The negative terminal releases electrons that go through the circuit, and the positive ions go through the electrolyte to the cathode, okay? okay. And, they, they, and that electrolyte blocks electrons. So the electrons have no choice but to go through the circuit, mm -hmm. okay? That's the key. And then what you want to do is you want to be able to charge it again, right? And so when we charge it, we're just reversing this entire process. So now the external power that you just supplied, it's reversing this chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. So now the electrons travel the other way. And the positive ions travel the other way, and then you're resetting this, you know, scale. Yes. Where now all of the all of the chemical energy is back into the system. It's like a seesaw. Yes, it's exactly like a seesaw where you you had chemical energy and that became electrical energy, and now you're providing work back to convert from electrical energy back to chemical energy, right? And to do this, lithium has basically won the race so far. It's the Usain Bolt of... Yes. Lithium ions are the Usain Bolt because they are fast. Why are they fast? Well, they're super light, right? They, it's number three on the periodic table. It's the lightest metal, and it only has three electrons, right? So the, the inner two electrons are in this stable, nice shell, right? And that outer electron is just ready to Go. get the hell out of there, right? And so it's super willing to be negative. It's super willing to be an ion. Uh, it's got this high gravimetric energy density, high electrochemical potential, which means that you can reach high voltage. It has no problem moving around in the electrolyte, mm -hmm. right? And then just donating that electron to go into the circuit. 